Welcome back to the Motor Super Series, where we have reached the halfway point of our day. Before the break, Tim Viva got his second win in three matches, getting the better of Johnny Barnes by four legs to one. Next up for us, we are watching Lisa Ashton and Nathan Gervin go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's been an improved day as far as Nathan Gervin is concerned. Averages of 93 and a half and an average just under 90 in his two matches. He's picked up one win against Adam Mould. As for Lisa Ashton, well, she's yet to get off the mark. And if we're having a look at the numbers for the pair so far today, everything points to a comfortable victory for the Scots. The question will come to where Lisa Ashton is going to pitch her darts. First and I'm just, just needing to throw first. Watching her in a, a warm-up darts, and she's throwing them down at the 19s again. Another sign that maybe she's not quite comfortable here, and we may not I see a return to back to the 20s in this fixture either. Confirmation that Lisa One on an end is going to opt to start on the 19s and start with success. One hundred and thirty-nine. Usually, when you turn the board, it's because the twenties have been feathered, but it might be the nineteens in this case today. Eighty-one. One hundred and thirty-seven. I think McGurk will feel lucky that he had a six-point lead on Gervin after day one because Nathan has improved tenfold from day one to day two. 89. Yeah, I feel that 154. defeat to Johnny Barnes that last time we saw Nathan could be a fatal blow. 58. Nathan, you require 14. Tots for 13, dark leg. Yeah, Tots foul for, for 13, line. dark leg. Gervin. Gervin up and running to summer prompt. Leads Lisa Ashton by a leg to nil. Second leg is Lisa to throw first. Game on. 95. Should be stated as well. Lisa just coming back from a major operation. The first time we saw her back was actually here at the live lounge for the ADC Women's Championship, which took place in November. 93. Lost out in the semi finals of that particular competition to the eventual champion, Dieter Hedman. We'll be looking to defend that title back in November here at the Live Lounge. The 47. qualifying tournaments for that over the course of the tour season begin in Middlesbrough at the end of March, the 30th and 31st of March, where both the men's and women's seasons get underway. More information on that via the ADC's Twitter feed at Dart Circuit. Men's tournament captured 256 players per event, and the numbers. For the entries so far, have been really good. 148 in events 1 and 2, 60. and 125 and 126 in events 3 and 4, respectively, for the 2024 Windmill Championship Tour. Weekend 1, the 30th and 31st of March. 81. We have £80,000 between the two tours on offer throughout the course of 2024. 99. Fifty-eight. Nathan, you require one hundred and nine. Beautiful. Double sixteen. Yeah, that's game short. And this is quality Nathan from Gervin. Nathan Gervan. He's not let that defeat in the last game affect him too much. Just giving himself whatever Third hope he can Nathan find. Throw first. In regards on. to keeping tabs on Shane McGurk and winning this group, but. The worst case scenario for him is you've got to think Group B. 41. 41. Nathan's been here more than enough times to know that 87. fact as well. Probably one of our most experienced campaigners when it's come to this format. 180. The average now of Nathan Gervin moves to just under 108. 107.91. And that number is rising. 
up and above 110. Fifty-nine. Nathan, you require one hundred and fourteen. Lisa's just got no reply at the moment to this fantastic performance of Nathan Gervin. One hundred. Goes big. Goes high. Goes safe. Stays right away from that treble twenty. Eighty-three. Nathan, you require forty. Tops after 12 again. Yeah, and that is a third second line. 13 Nathan dart goes. leg of the match for Nathan Gervin. Nisa Ashton Four has quite literally had first. nothing by way of apply. 109.98 the average. Three from three when it comes to the doubles. Two 13 darters and the other leg was one with 109 95. out. One hundred and fourteen. The average goes up again. Hundred and twelve point zero two. Thirty-three. One hundred nine point three one's the calendar year record average. Posted by Tom Sykes. One hundred and eight. And we are tiptoeing now towards ultimate greatness. 95. Absolutely spectacular, this from Gervin. 60. Showing some real quality, some real fighting spirit. It's a real 29. warning signs again for the man top of the table in Shane McGurk. This would be some way to win it. Double 18. Game golden, shot. golden, Gervin. Two ton plus finishes, four out of four on the doubles, and an average of 113.43. That is a statement laid down to the rest of the field. Absolutely sumptuous from Nathan Gervin to depose of Lisa Ashton by four legs to nil in the space of six minutes and 10 seconds. That was sublime from the Scot. Myself and Matthew Edgar are going to take a breath. We're going to head to the studio, analyse that and the rest of the action after this short break. We're talking about Premier Performances, the best performance of the day, the best performance of the week so far. And in fact, the best performance of 2024 here at the Super Series came from Nathan Gervin there just before the break. 113 average. He has laid the gauntlet down for everyone. It was really good, not just because of how he performed, and it, you can look at the game, look at the average and go, what a performance. But it was the fact of the retaliation after the defeat in the previous game, when he was 2-0 up and looked like he was going to put that performance in, then 2-0 up, cruising, end up losing it 4-2. It would have been so easy for him to come out, think the group was over, think the opportunity is gone, and then sort of regress and sort of back and then come back tomorrow and go, oh, that one game sort of knocked me off. He, he had a ready-made excuse if he needed it. Mm -hmm. He didn't want that. He wanted to come out fighting and he improved. Real, real quality there from Nathan Gervin, who at the start of the day were saying, yes, he could be a danger, but where's Nathan Gervin of 2022 gone? He turned up.